Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. Zucchini plants, cucumbers, pumpkins, melons, they all are capable of producing both female and male flowers. You might start seeing a parade of beautiful yellow and orange colored blooms. But what happens when our plants produce only male flowers and do not set any food for us. In today's video, I'm going to cover five reasons why our cucurbit plants might only be producing male flowers and setting no fruits for us home gardeners. So for those of you looking for that online gardening channel, which offers tips, tricks, easy, yet proven gardening advice to take your home garden to the next level. Don't go anywhere, guys. Stick around with me today. Start with going below this video and clicking the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon as well if you enjoy the content of my videos and want YouTube to send you notifications every single time I'll upload a new garden video. Now come with me. Let's get gardening. Luckily, you can turn this problem around within minutes if you know exactly the cause. And within a week or two, you're going to have an abundant harvest for all of your favorite kitchen recipes. Cucurbits are a plant family that includes cucumbers, zucchini, watermelons, melons, even pumpkins. What makes them different from other crops that we grow in our home gardens? Cucurbit plants produce two different types of reproductive flowers. The first type is the female flower and the second is our male flower, which makes it different from crops like tomato or peppers, which produce one type of flower that is self fertile, meaning it has both male and female components within that one flower. Plants that are in the cucurbit family need both type of flowers, male and female, to cross-pollinate, hence to set and produce fruit for us. A very easy way to distinguish a male flower from a female flower. A male flower will only have a thin stem below the flower bloom. A female flower, regardless whether it's on a cucumber plant, squash plant, pumpkin plant, or even a watermelon plant, will always have a fruit, a small forming fruit, right below the flower bloom. I'm going to put these two next to each other so you could see a very clear difference. If your plant is successfully producing both male and female flowers as it should be doing and if the cross pollination was successful on the female flower what you're going to see is the flower bloom start to dry up shrivel up and eventually fall off resulting in continued successful growth of the fruit on your plant hence the harvest However, there are instances when our plants only produce either male flowers or only female flowers, which in either way can be very concerning for us home gardeners. So what do we do? Do we just rip the plant out of the soil and plant a new one? Absolutely not. In gardening, for every problem, there's always a solution. If you notice that your plant is producing either male or all female flowers in the very beginning stages of its growth, say you planted your plant about one month to two months ago, your plant is not yet fully mature. It is just starting to put on the lush green foliage as well as starting to put those initial flower buds and flower blooms. If you're noticing this problem in the early stages of your plant's growth, say the first or the second months after you planted your zucchini plant. Great example is this zucchini plant I'm growing right over here. It is in the early stages of its growth. You could see it's finally starting to put on the lush green foliage growth and just now starting to set flower buds right over here. So if you noticed that your plant is only producing male or female 
flowers in the early stages of its growth, then lack of maturity is the cause. So what is the solution? The solution is wait. Wait that extra month. As your plant will become more mature, it's going to start producing both male and female flowers as it is supposed to. So what will happen that first or second month as it's producing only one set of flowers? That will result in flower bloom drop as well as the loss of the fruit and the harvest. And it's okay. All we have to do is wait for our plant to finally mature. When our plants are not yet mature, we'd be lucky enough to get a plant that from the very get-go will produce both female and male flowers. However, 75% of the time when our plants are not yet mature, they will produce either only male or only female flowers. And it's absolutely normal and it is absolutely fine. So the key in this case is to simply wait. You waited those few extra months only to find that your zucchini plant is still producing only male flowers. Now, what can be the cause? One of the biggest reasons why your squash plant is producing only male flowers, even when it's mature, is stress. What kind of stress? Air temperature stress. If the air temperatures are 85 degrees Fahrenheit or above, consistently your zucchini plant or any plants in the cucurbit family will be under tremendous stress and produce only male flowers why because it takes a lot more energy to sustain a female flower than to produce all male flowers don't ever forget my fellow home gardeners that a female flower always has a small fruit attached right below the flower bloom so it takes the mother plant a lot more energy and a lot of moisture composition to create, to maintain and sustain a female flower. When being under tremendous stress, such as very high air temperatures, the mother plant is at a risk of dying. Hence, it's still going to create flowers. However, these flowers most of the time will be only male flower blooms. The next reason is nutrients. If you're seeing lots of lush, dark green, glossy foliage on your plant, yet it's still only producing all male flowers. Too much nitrogen can be the cause for that. Especially if you're fertilizing your crop on a weekly basis. Great example of this problem is the plant I've grown right over here in this raised garden bed. You could see the abundant amount of large dark green foliage, yet all of the blooms on this plant are male flowers. There's not a single female flower on the zucchini plant. Hence, no fruit production. How can we resolve this? How can we fix this problem? Switching the type of fertilizer which we use. You should always use a fertilizer that has proportionate NPK ratio. Fertilizers with high nitrogen composition will, will result in abundant lush foliage leaf growth. However, less fruit or no fruit production at all. You should switch to a fertilizer that has phosphorus and potassium composition. Why? Because phosphorus and potassium will help with build stronger roots and increase bloom production. Next possible reason is lack of moisture. It takes a lot more moisture and energy to create fruit than set male flowers. Our cucumbers, zucchini, melons, watermelons, even pumpkins are 95% moisture composition. And imagine when our fruit grows, some of the fruit gets to be as heavy as six, eight, even 10 pounds. Most of that weight is contributed to moisture content. So we don't provide enough moisture to our plants during their growth. We're not going to see that fruit production that we want to see. In fact, we're going to see our plants set more male flowers 
then focus its energy on creating female flowers, hence creating the food for us. Remember to give your plants plenty of moisture. Moisture will never come out of thin air. So unless you're having a rainy season, make sure that you check your soil for moisture content on a daily basis and water your crops accordingly. That fifth possible reason is insects or pests. Slugs, snails, rabbits, even deer, all have the potential to eat or destroy our blooms, as well as the foliage on our crops. Say one morning you came out and you saw an abundant amount of beautiful blooms, only to come the next day to see that somebody or something destroyed the foliage as well as the blooms on your beautiful crops. The key here is to be very patient and very observant. Always take a closer look at your plants, at the foliage, at the blooms. If you see any holes, any bite marks, any signs that an insect, a pest, or an animal came into your home garden, there are always ways to deter them away from your home uh, gardens. But the key is to take a closer look and to find the problem before that problem will take over your entire home gardens. The five reasons that we spoke about in this video Maturity as well as stress factors are the two top reasons. This is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today in my home, my home garden in Long Island, New York, Gardening Zone 7A. If you enjoyed the content of today's video, if you found today's video to be useful, helpful, and informative, in absolutely any way, don't be shy, got super easy for you to do, super pleasing and rewarding to me. Show me that support by clicking thumbs up below. Many more have been writing to me recently, sharing your garden problems with me, sharing your garden successes with me, and I enjoy talking to each and every single one of you. I read each and every single one of your comments and personally respond to each and every single one of you, my fellow home gardeners. If you haven't yet subscribed to my gardening channel, Garden Cold Spring Harbor, don't wait any longer, guys. Do so today. It's super easy. Just go below this video and click the subscribe button. Click the bell icon as well if you want YouTube to send you notifications every single time I'll upload a new garden video. Stay healthy, happy, be well, each and every single one of you. And I'll see you guys again in my new upcoming garden videos. And happy gardening, guys. Bye.